Oh, welcome back everyone. I'm here once again on the same day as I posted the other video, but I don't know that this one will get posted at the same time. And I've also changed my format just a hair. I'm doing away with the intros and the outros as far as me sitting there telling you what I'm doing and stuff like that. So what I'm doing, <laughs> as I tell you what I'm doing, I'm starting over once again. And I'm going to do this completely different this time. Uh, that's going to be about the only thing that's the same. <laughs> that is the 555. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is put a pin over to... Uh, or actually, put a pin on the end for the final one. This is going to be my plus rail up here. And I think there's two separate ones here, so I think in order to do this, I uh, probably need to do it to this side here. So this is going to be my plus rail. I'll just put a red one in there and make sure we see what we're doing. Alright, now this is going to be my plus rail. If I can get it in there. And this will be on the other side, obviously. It's going to be my minus rail. If I can find a, a black one. There we go. This will be the minus side. And those will be hooked up to the power supply as such. In fact, I'm going to do that right now because they're not live. These little alligator clips they give you are just about the worst I've ever seen. I thought it was the little insulators that was the problem with it, but it's not. These things are just crappy. Pure crappy. Let's see if I can do it with this hand. Maybe it's my hands, maybe it's not these. No, it's these. There we go. Alright, there's one. Let's see if I can get this one in here without too much handle. Alright, now the, the power supply is hooked up to these two rails. Negative, positive, and so we know that the number eight is going to be the positive end. So let's go ahead and hook that up right here. All right, at this point, I went on to do this uh, same circuit, try to uh, fix it, and it came out wrong. And I went through like three 555 chips before I decided to stop for the evening and get a better grasp on what I was doing so uh, here's what happened here is the way I was uh, assuming the pinout was done on the 555 with the bottom row 1 through 4 and the top row 5 through 8 but that was a little bit on the wrong side as we will see here is the correct way of doing this Pins uh, 5 through 8 were reversed from what I thought they were. So this is why I burnt up three 555 timers and the circuit wouldn't work. Uh, imagine that. So uh, after I got it right and I figured out my problem, by the way, thank you Robert Gibbons for pointing out that the only way to fry one of these chips is to hook it up backwards and have me <laughs> take a better look at what I was doing. So. That's what uh, what I did, and I figured out my problem. And so, let me continue on with the video now. Ah, I'm back with you once more. That's uh, one of the first songs I think on the playlist. Let's uh, see if we can get another one going here. Um. 
tune it in a little bit. Alright, like I say, the, uh, it is working. Might be up a little too high. Alright, that is the 555 time we're doing that. Many thanks to Robert Gibbons for his assistance. And the um, antenna is just draped over the top of that. That's all it is. So, that's uh, working pretty good. I'm going to post the, uh, the um, circuit and how I've got it wired. And you, I don't know if you can see it, but the uh, power supply is running at 11.9. It's working just fine. This is the fourth IC. <laughs> that is four. Four of them, yes. Let me turn this up a little bit or move it around a little bit. That's a, that radio there drifts a lot. Anyway, it's working. See how I move the antenna. See here it is right here. Still working, but it's not working very good. Works better when it's draped over the top of it. This was never claimed to be a very powerful AM transmitter. The fact that it works, works halfway decent actually. So, happy about that. Let me turn this down. In fact, let me stop this. Turn this off. Unplug this. Now, here's the deal. <laughs> the reason this is the fourth chip, and I don't know how well you can see this, but... This part here, the pin 5 through pin 8, I had those reversed. I had this as 5 and this as 8. That was what, what the problem was all along. And, you know, my stupidity. I just, when I looked up the pin out, I seen the bottom was 1, 2, 3, 4, and just figured it was 5, 6, 7, 8 on the other side. So I didn't even bother. It's been a while since I've worked with this stuff, so you got to give me, cut me a little slack on this. But uh, I did get it working. Like again, thanks for, thanks to uh, Robert. He's the one that pointed out, you know, the only way to fry one of these chips is to hook it up backwards. <laughs> thanks, Robert. After the third chip, I figured that out. <laughs> but yeah, it does work, and I was happy about that. Like I say, I will post this uh, the way it's hooked up and show you, give you a printout of that, or not printout, but a uh, diagram of that. Post that along with the a video. So some of this is going to be cut out. I'm going to, uh, basically, there's a lot of stuff on here that's, really doesn't belong on here and I don't know if I've I got this on on film or film here I go again on video or not but I did uh, try the uh, the AM the Vectronics AM transmitter with the power supply to tell you the truth it was very very uh, hummy <laughs> is the word I would use and uh, I you know it didn't work too bad but it was very hummy so I think the other mods gonna have to be made to the inside of the Electronics and see what that does but uh, again I was real close with it and I, it's always hum really bad when it's close so that may be part of it so um, the uh, I had a the flute hooked up to it while I was doing it and I think the, the voltage did drop down to 11.5 uh, 
with it hooked up and running. So that's not too bad. But uh, <laughs> the problem with this one I was having, um, it would, uh, I could hook it up like this, and it would run the first time the uh, power supply, it would stay on 12 volts, it was no problem. And then I would turn it off for whatever reason, and then turn it back on. Well, the power supply would not come back up to 12 volts again. Uh, mainly because the chip had gotten fried. So, <laughs> uh, anyway, so that's why I was, I was doing that. I kept thinking, you know, I'm, I've double-checked, triple-checked, quadruple-checked everything on this, and it's wrong. You know, it keeps coming up wrong. So, anywho, for you guys that uh, didn't know it was possible to use one of these for this, that's how you do it. But, uh... I think there might be some improvements. Uh, Robert was telling me to hook up a, a potentiometer on another part of the circuit to get more range on the uh, on the output. But you know, just the fact that I got it working, that was enough for me. I think I'm at nine nine something on the dial, nine hundred and something kilohertz. So uh, obviously that's a uh, a harmonic because this this chip doesn't. Uh, oscillate that high it's a, a harmonic so it would be 300 something is which which this is running at so that is pretty cool all right you guys uh, like i say i'm going to do away with the uh, intro or an outro as far as the uh, me talking goes so i'm just going to say you guys have a great evening it is after 10 here and it's past my bedtime i had company i had my Granddaughter uh, Jordan and great-granddaughter Lainey was here, and uh, they had some fun playing with the Wii and things like that. So they have went home for the evening, and I think as soon as I get this done, I will probably do the same. I will put that uh, diagram up of uh, what I or how I've got this hooked up, and you can see if you want to try it yourself. How you know, and it does work. And I'm assuming the other one will work also. The uh, one that uh, Tanner Tech did. Uh, I haven't tried it yet, but uh, you know, being as I had this hooked up backwards, that's a pretty, pretty good indication it may have worked too. I think Robert said he tried it that way, and or maybe he didn't, but he, he did notice that the uh, antenna had to be basically inductively coupled with the antenna on the other radio, basically what I have to get this to work. So, anywho, that's uh, again, I keep rambling on. You guys have a great evening. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you.